What a terrific partnership they've been. Can Coldwell guide him to a World Cruiserweight title? Will Ilunga Makabu shatter the hopes and dreams of the blue half of this city and everybody in this stadium? 12 rounds for the vacant WBC Cruiserweight title. Makabu, traditionally a slow starter. Just listen to this atmosphere. But as you said before, Jim, when that bell goes, everything just leaves a boxer's brain except the focus on the opponent. These two fully switched on now. Bellew, as you can see, significantly taller. Can he make that count in his favour? Makabu boxing out of that southpaw stance. Taking it easy, looking to set his traps. He's very heavy-handed, he likes to counter. Bellew's got to be very careful, very patient, says Dave Coldwell. You take one risk with this fella. If it backfires, it could be good night. Well, he's trying to take the initiative early, Bellew, which is a good sign. But uh, it depends how good this fellow is at manoeuvring opponents. You know, it, he's got the southpaw stance. The first thing uh, Bellew wants to do is move him in a clockwise direction because he wants to move to his own right hand side, get outside Bellew's jab. So, how good he is at manoeuvring opponents? This is good from, from Bellew. You know, he, he's concentrating. He, he's thinking what he's doing, but he's using the right hand early. Everybody believes the right hand is the anti against the southpaw, I think the left foot is the one, but whatever works. Well, that's something Dave Coldwell said, part of the game plan is they've got to stay busy with that left hand. Not necessarily offensively, but just defensively. Use it as a range finder, use it to block, always keep busy with that left hand. That's the mantra that's just been drummed into value throughout the training camp. That left hand has got to work and it's got to do the job. just raiding a little bit here Bellew looking to land the right hand yeah I think the fact that Bellew is trying to use the right hand this early in the fight is a good sign yeah, he's got the physical advantages and he, he's using them Macabre going into a little bit of a shell trying to draw him close yep yeah, I like the attitude of Bellew he's thinking what he's doing here and Macabre against the ropes then comes out again but you'll see this with Makabu on tape but these are nice solid hurtful punches that are coming in from Bellew and Makabu is shipping a lot of punishment here hooks to the body right hands upstairs Bellew's got to keep his head though he's dangerous like that the left hand spun him over right on the bell I want to look at his eyes here and that I don't think it was a damaging shot. The fact that he didn't crumple to the floor, he tumbled over, but that gives us scores a big round to Makabu. That is exactly what Dave Coldwell was saying. You can't fall into this fella's traps, he will set them. Good shot, this is big deep breaths, big deep breaths. You got greedy. You got greedy, you forgot about defense. Yes, I know, but you got See, I think Makabu was quite happy to let Tony Whale away at him when he was in the corner there because he was close enough and he was offering an opportunity. Look how quick that left hand was. Tony got up straight away, looked to the corner, so he's not badly stunned. And the fact that he was bowled over almost on a somersault suggests that it caught him square-footed. It wasn't a punishing shot. If his legs had gone and he'd crumbled to the floor, then we're worrying. But look at that, that's, uh, that's getting caught square-footed, losing your concentration, but not a punishing uh, punch that he has to discover and to recover from. Yeah, he got up and he was annoyed with himself. But that undid all that good work. But Bellew's got to learn from that. He's had a bit of damage around the nose of Bellew as well. A bit of blood there, not quite sure. Let's keep an eye on that. Round two then, a dramatic opening session. Bellew doing a lot of good work. Makabu coming up with a left hand on the bell, and yeah, that nose is bleeding. He looks to have a puncher's patience, doesn't he? He knows he's not in any hurry. 12 rounds is a long time. Other chances are going to present themselves. And the south cost stance is just another awkwardness that Bellew could be doing without, I'm sure. Yeah. 
but maybe not all that easy to catch uh, as we thought. Uh, and he looked at uh, as, as during the introductions, he was skipping about and his feet. It looks pretty mobile as well, Makabu. I expected him to be a bit more flat footed being the puncher, but this is a tough job for Big Tony. And he is very happy just to settle back like this, as we've seen. He sets traps. Values walked into one, got away with it, albeit with some damage to the nose. He's got to get to work in this round, uh, Bellew. You know, he's got, he's, he's got the jab, he's got an excellent jab. I mean, that's a, that, that was a shaker, the, the, the last thing you want is disaster in the opening round, and that's what he got. But he's very circumspect, obviously, throughout the, the second round here. And so much for Makabu being the slow starter. Which he has been in some of his recent fights. Took ages to get going when he won his eliminator against Makunu. Now he's bleeding from the nose as well, Makabu. Uh, Makabu definitely got caught with something. Yeah, they're both showing each other an awful lot of respect in this round. No one really putting their stamp on this round, are they? And Bellew, quite rightly, reluctant to get drawn into anything. He won't get greedy again, to use Coldwell's words. That was what he said to him when he went back to the ring. The corner there, Coldwell, he said, you got greedy. He knows it. Solid shots that have landed have come from Bellew. Now he's just got to back off and regroup. More blood coming from the nose. That was a good little burst there from Bellew. In a round that's been as quiet as this, that might just edge it in his favour. Yep, just keeps his concentration. Favorites. Online sports betting company. And I gamble responsibly at Bet365. A host of Evertonians past and present at ringside, including this man, David Moyes, long-term manager here at Everton. Had a lot of good years with his football club. And you would think a very welcome figure back here at ringside, looking on with some concern. Round three, then, of this 12 roundup. While we were away, David Coldwell said, don't think about entertaining this crowd, think about winning the fight. That is spot-on advice. Well, someone is going to have to show just a little bit more adventure than we saw in the second round. There was so much at stake, and the fact that Bill Hughes already been on the floor. So you, you, you can't uh, blame him for being a little bit careful in there. Looking to stay busy with that left hand. Whether it's throwing out the jabs, whether it's blocking, whether it's hooking. He's got to stay active with that. Nice little right to the body there. Makabu very much on the front foot. Bellew does land the hook. Makabu backing up and getting out of trouble. Bellew's got to stay patient here, though. He's been here before. But Makabu blocking, covering. If he's leaning back, he's not going to get power in his shot, but he's heavy-handed, that was a good left hook he got home with. The good work from Bell Yubi, he's taken too many chances He's now. got to be careful. Solid Tell shots, but Makabu looks like he's in serious trouble now. Is this it? The legs are buckled. Bell Yu's going for it. Bell Yu flat out here. What Makabu got, he's in trouble. He stopped. Bell Yu's done it. Hamilton, got it to Park, goes for up. He's destroyed. Makabu is still on the floor. And it's some distress. Bellew doesn't know it, his team don't know it. Now they've realised. Because Makabu right in front of us is flat out sprawled on this ring.
Well, nobody saw that coming. Macabre was leaning back in the ropes against the uh, when he was in the corner, and Tony just let it go. I think he knew if his weight was back, there was no power in his shots. Bomber Bellew, well, he's proved it tonight. You are not kidding. He's always said his power at Cruiserweight is real. We wondered if Makabu was setting those traps again, and he's still down, and we keep our fingers crossed that this is precautionary. But no, Bellew got to him, he hurt him, and he knew he'd hurt him. He stayed on him and ripped him up, destroyed him. I think Makabu seems OK. I think he wants to get up, but just as a precaution, they're keeping him on the floor. But he, he looks alert, to it, thankfully. But those were huge punches that he was forced to take there. What a terrific performance from Tony Bellew. It really was a career performance. And Bellew is leaning over, leaning in closely, just making sure himself that Macabre is OK. Macabre is answering him back. He's responding. I think Bellew is relieved and happy about that, and he's moved away, embracing some of the Macabre team. And you can see their disappointment. They came in here with such hopes and expectations. Their dreams have been ruined. Values have been realised in spectacular and stunning fashion. They're now getting into his stall. And again, we hope this is all just precautionary. And they can take as long as they like to get Makabu where he needs to be. You see little Dave Caldwell there in the middle of the ring as we just go back and look at Macabre. Did you see that, Jim? He was wiping away tears. The little tough guy, wiping away tears. That's what it means to him. And there he is with his back to us, walking away. Well, he comes in with the reputation of being the punisher, 90% knockout ratio. But as I said a few seconds ago, he calls himself <laughs> Tony Bomber Bellevue. Well, those were bombs he was throwing tonight. Terrific punches, he saw his chance and he grabbed it. Being on the floor in the opening round, disastrous start, puts that out of his mind and then puts in a performance like that. Terrific. Spectacular was the word you used and that just about sums it up. And by the way, Jim, he was told, wasn't he? Dave Caldwell said to him, don't entertain the crowd, go out and get the win. Well, he didn't listen. He put on one hell of a show, and that's what impressed me there. He saw that he'd hurt him, Jim. Even though he'd, he'd fallen into the trap earlier, he'd seen what had happened, and he was ruthless and clinical. The family in the ring with him, very much a family man, Tony Bellew, like so many fighters are, sharing the moment with those that mean the most to him. Well, I'm sure Rachel, that when, when, his the partner. when the first couple of punches landed, Tony would have felt those in his shoulders. He knew there were big punches. He knew they'd landed cleanly, he knew Makabu was in trouble. To his credit, Makabu was throwing back, but maybe he should have been covering up and grabbing hold. But he was the puncher, he's used to knocking other people out, he's not used to terrific, being under pressure. And this is, this is the nice part of boxing, isn't it? I mean, this is what people do not understand about this crazy business. It's a sport. Look at that. Can't be friends before. There are people on the fringes of boxing who somehow think Tony Bellew is a bit of a bad guy, you know. How can you possibly think that when you see and hear a gesture and words like that? What class from Tony Bellew. And I think Macabo is as much mentally shattered as physically. Let's have another look at it again. Well, Tony was throwing meaningful punches. That, that one, that is the punch he probably felt. It was getting him the result. He knew it was clean. It forced Macabre onto the defensive. Again, his body weight is back, so he's not going to get power into his own punches. Terrific shots from Tony. I was worried at the time that maybe he was taking too many chances, but uh, not completely the opposite was true. A good left hook 
just knocked the Maccabi onto the defence of a club a little bit high, but it's troubled him. And from that point on, Maccabi really couldn't get any purchase on anything that he was trying to do. His legs, his balance gone, pushed back against the ropes, body weight behind him. And Tony just so cool, looking, looking for the spot. I mean, natural punchers. When they see a chance, they go for it. Tony saw his chance, and he went for it. Oh, terrific shots. Yeah, really, really impressive. We were hoping to hear from Carl. It was all over so quickly. But, yeah, let's bring you in now, Carl. Your assessment of Tony Bellew and that performance.